Hi, I'm Matt from Ocean Beach Library. And in honor of Banned Books Week, I'd like to read a passage from Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I'd like to thank Simon & Schuster for giving me the opportunity to read this for you. This is a, a novel about World War II, and it's about a bunch of pilots who are trapped in a situation where they could die at any time, and the bureaucracy that they have to face. And I'm going to read you a passage about a bunch of officers, a bunch of uh, gold bricks, if you were, uh, dealing with uh, an issue they can't figure out because they hear something that they just don't understand. Here it is. It takes brains not to make money, Cur Colonel Cargo wrote in one of the homilytic memoranda he regularly prepared for circulation over General Peckham's signature. Any fool can make money these days, and most of them do. But what about people with talent and brains? Name, for example, one poet who makes money. T.S. Eliot, ex-PFC Wintergreen, said in his mail sorting cub cubicle at 27th Air Force headquarters and slammed down the he telephone without identifying himself. Colonel Cargill in Rome was perplexed. Who was it, asked General Peckham. I don't know, said Colonel Cargill. What do you want? I don't know. But what do he say? T.S. Eliot, Colonel Cargill informed him. What's that? T.S. Eliot, Colonel Cargo repeated. Just T.S. Yes, sir. That's all he said. T.S. Eliot. I wonder what it means, General Peckham reflected. Colonel Cargo wondered, too. T.S. Eliot, General Peckham mused. T.S. Eliot, Colonel Cargo echoed with the same funereal puzzlement. General Peckham roused himself after a moment with an unctuous and benignant smile. His expression was shrewd and sophisticated. His eyes gleamed maliciously. Have someone get me General Dreidel, he requested Colonel Cargill. Don't let him know who's calling. Colonel Cargill handed him the phone. T.S. Eliot, General Peckham said and hung up. Who was it? asked Colonel Moodus. General Dreidel in Corsica did not reply. And then, Get Peckham, he told Colonel Moodus. Don't let the bastard know who's calling. Who was it, asked Colonel Cargo back in Rome. That same person, General Peckham replies, the general trace of alarm. Now he's after me. What does he want? I don't know. What do he say? The same thing. T.S. Eliot? Yes, T.S. Eliot. That's all he said. General Peckham had a hopeful thought. Perhaps it's a new code or something, like the colors of the day. Why don't you have someone check with communications to see if there's a new code or something or the colors of the day? Communications answered that T.S. Eliot was not the new code or colors of the day. Colonel Cargill had the next idea. Maybe I ought to phone 27th Air Force headquarters and see if they know anything about it. They have a clerk up there named Wintergreen. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty close to. He's the one that tipped me off that our prose was too prolix. XPSC Wintergreen told Colonel Cargill that there was no record of at 27th Air Corps head headquarters of a T.S. Elliot. How's our prose these days, Colonel Cargill decided to inquire while he had XPSC Wintergreen on the phone. It's much better now, isn't it? It's still too prolix, XPSC Wintergreen replied. It wouldn't surprise me if General Dreidel were behind the whole thing. Remember what he did to that skeet shooting range? General, Giedel, General Dreidel had thrown up a Colonel Cathcart's private skeet shooting range to every officer and enlisted man in the group on combat duty. General Dreidel wanted his men to spend as much time on the skeet shooting range as the facilities and their flight schedule would allow. Skeet shooting eight hours a month was excellent training for them. It trained them to shoot skeet. And the book was banned for its salty language and uh, its a, it mature situations, but I think it really does show a lot about uh, the condition in any bureaucratic thing, not just war, but um, a, it's almost like the kind of situation you might run into in, say, the unemployment office or somewhere. Thanks for uh, letting me share. This is Matt from Ocean Beach Library.